my goodness, I don't know how long it's been since I've been here. Seems like forever. We, I've had a couple of strange weeks. I've not been well this week. I've had some sort of bug. There's loads of bugs going about. So if you can see me, excuse this <sighs> pallor. <laughs> right, I thought I'd join you for a cup of tea because I've got Sadie here. I'll bring her over in a minute so you can see her. Um, next week, we're going to start decorating. So I'm dreading it. Everything's got to be gutted out. I don't know. I'll be. I'll probably be stuck in one room for a couple of weeks, and um, our Peter and his friend get on with some decorating, and it's gonna be hell. I know it is. I'm. I'm gonna be without a kitchen for two weeks, and well, it's not good. You know what that's like, don't you? Anyway, Monday I wasn't well at all all day this week. And it, we are now on Thursday. Yeah, I believe it's Thursday. And still not brilliant. I'm okay, my stomach's settled down, um, but it's not good. Anyway, never mind. Apart from that. I just found a package in my letterbox. Now, I don't know whether... You, Oh, got some chookies in there. Did you know this was a thing? I didn't know this was... Let me move my tea and I'll show you. Did you know a blind book buying was a thing? I chose mystery. It's a blind book, obviously. You can't see what it is. And when I think of what the two sacks of books I've just given to charity, I could have been doing this. I could have been selling books. Who knew? I didn't know. Anyway, this lady is on Etsy. You can get them on eBay as well. And loads of people do it. There's loads of different ones. And you pick a genre. I never get that right word right. Anyway, I chose mystery. So... She sent me some little chocolates. Divine Seriously Smooth Milk Chocolate. I got five of those. Isn't that nice? And uh, Organic Peppermint Tea. And Sweet Rhubarb. I do like fruit teas. They often smell nicer than they taste. <laughs> Get a nice pink ribbon now. I'll play with the pink ribbon. Let's have a look see what book I've got. Oh, I haven't read this. It's called Scat. And it's got a picture of, that looks like a leopard on it. The Black Vine Swamp lay before them, dark, mysterious and full of secrets. Mrs. Starch, the fearest, most formidable teacher in school, steps down one of the trails and vanishes in a blink of an eye. Oh, wow, okay. The Florida Panther on the loose. And it's hardly a walk in the park. So, I will give this a go. I certainly will. I'm trying to get back into reading. I've just read a book in a couple of days. Um, I gave up reading a little while ago. I thought it was easier to listen to them, you know, uh, put an audio. Oh, that's one on the floor put an audio book on and uh, yeah it is but I thought I do like a book and when I was going through all my books because I gave as I say two big black bags literally to charity um, I found a couple that I hadn't read on my bookshelf so I kept them behind plus I'm pointing over here because that's where my bookshelf is now 
I've kept um, a few of my like my Outlander books, and I've got a couple of Harry Potters, and um, who else have I got? Oh, my Twilight series, I've got those up there still. And my local history, I like local history, so they are there. And I won't be parting with those. I'm just going to check your recording, which you are. Yeah, you're recording, okay. Oh, yeah, last week, oh my goodness, last week in Hastings, I live in Hastings in the UK. We had so much rain. I live on a hill, so we were fine. We were absolutely fine. But down in the centre of Hastings town, it flooded. And I mean flooded. All the shops were closed because they were, they were flooded out. And then the next day, next day after the flooding, or was it two days after the flooding, in the old town of Hastings, there was a big fire. Yeah. The only thing we didn't get was the petulance. <laughs> Is it petulance? Flood fire? But yeah. Anyway, it, it's not funny. It's not funny for anybody involved. Nobody was injured. Luckily, it was an old nightclub uh, that burns. And uh, somewhere that I did go into in my youth. But, so it was sad. Yeah. But that's that. And I've got Sadie with me today. I'll bring her over. Oh, I do like a cup of salsa. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? My stepdaughter bought me that. When did she get me that? My Mother's Day? Or was it Christmas? It wasn't this Christmas because I still haven't seen her yet. Terrible, isn't it? Her car's broken down. Um, she was ill. Then we were ill. And it's just been one thing after another. So I haven't got around to seeing her yet. Come on, pop it. Oh, gonna say hello. Say hello, all my sisters. Hello. Yeah, I'm just gonna lay on the table. Yeah, so I don't know where my dollies will be after next week. I don't know where I'll be. Well, I'll be here, uh, but they'll probably be packed away or under dust sheets so they don't get any paint on them. I should have left these shoes on, shouldn't I? Never mind. And, uh, it's got to be done. It'd be nice when it's done, and but it's just a small place to be able to move things around in. It really is. It's just not an extra. It's not big lean. An extra room would have been good, but it is what it is. So, oh goodness me, this button is stuck. What have you done with this button? That's it. Oh goodness. Tiny buttons and lay down a minute, darling. Tiny buttons and tiny little buttonholes. And I'm not prepared. I haven't even bought a brush with me. Look at this mop of messy hair. Yeah, so Peter will be home, as I say, for a while to do decorating and things. I might get here Monday because Monday he hopes to go fishing for the last time in a while. So I might be here Monday. Um, I really don't know. Really don't know. Yeah, so last week we did go for a walk. We went out and we went and had a walk around the old town. Now, I wanted to do a short video for you all. Banging me. Must be the builders over the road. Or magpies. They might be banging on the side of the house with got nest boxes up. Um, yeah, so I wanted to do a short video for you all because there's some pretty sights around. Um, do you ever watch Foil's War or did you watch Foil's War? Now that was all filmed, or the, the first couple of series were filmed in Hastings Old Town. 
and uh, so I wanted to do you know just a little video for you but Peter wasn't having any of it he didn't didn't want that I took some photos but they didn't come out very well so you know what it's like I was walking behind him and uh, trying to catch up and all sorts so yeah anyway she's gonna have this knitted dress on It's funny, we went to, um, as I say, we went down the old town because Peter had uh, a voucher for the fishing tackle shop down there that he had last Christmas, Christmas before the one just gone. God, she knows. So he thought he'd better go and use it in case they go out of date. And uh, so he went and done that. And there was, he said, oh, we're going to have a look around this antique stalls and I said to him I should have made a little film and he said why and I said because when my great granddad he had a greengrocer's in Hastings Old Town and I haven't got a photo here to show you I might go and get it in a minute I've shown it to you before where we went this antique place, you go under like an arch and then you walk around the back and all the individual, they would have been stables years ago and it was where he kept his horse and cart for his delivering greengrocery. So, you know, his fruit and vegetables. So that would have been really, made, would have made a nice little film just to show you, but no, he wasn't having it. So that was that. He's not into all this. Uh, maybe one day I'll go out on my own and I'll take you for a walk. Yeah, with me? What do you reckon? I've also got a new book. Um, a new lo local history book. Well, history. It's where they reckon it's haunted. Yeah. And it's, uh, you can read about the places and walk around and find them. Oh, here we go. I feel pretty in pink. And was mummy not got you a hair thing? Never mind. Never mind. Here's your teddy. You gonna sit there? It's a nice little knitted dress. There we are. I'll have to keep my arm behind her. Yeah, so I intended showing you all about um, well, the places where Foyle's Wall was filmed, really, and other places, but not to worry, not to worry. Maybe one day, as I say, maybe I'll go down on my own and have a walk around. We went along the beach, the fish, we got a fish market because the fresh fish comes up off the beach and is sold in the fish market. Prices have gone up. Oh my goodness, has all the prices gone up for everything lately? We didn't buy anything. We didn't, didn't buy any fish. Um, should have done, really. And then when you go round the back of the fish market, on the beach is actually little tiny huts where people sell straight from the huts. Um, that would have been cheaper buying it along there, but still we didn't buy anything. Uh, but we didn't go out really, to, we were just on the wander around. Oh. Right. I could have gone down, I haven't done swimming well for two weeks, not been to group, haven't been weighed. I've just ordered myself a pair of scales actually to wear at home. I know I shouldn't, but because, oh, where's my phone going? Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye and uh, hopefully I'll get to see you soon. Oh, I've got to have to phone him back, it'll only be Peter. Right, take care. See you soon.